Greetings YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at Vermints. Um, this is the Wintergreen. Uh, and this is a mint I picked up at, where did I buy these? A market, in a, or, in an organics uh, market here in Manchester, New Hampshire. And I've been looking for a replacement for Newman's Own, which was my favorite mint. I haven't been able to locate them in my area in a very long time. Um, and one of the things I liked about them, besides the flavor, uh, was that they were a harder mint, and that meant they they dissolved more slowly inside your mouth. Because I'm the kind of person that will, I will keep a mint in my mouth for 20 minutes, half an hour before it finally gets small enough, then I'll get rid of it, I'll chew it up. Um, I know people who like want to put a mint in their mouth and want to crunch on it almost immediately to get that big burst of flavor. I'm not like that. I want it, I like a lingering mint. So to have that happen, I need a hard mint. Now, one of the most famous mints you can get are going to be like uh, the Altoids. Now, I, I have Altoids. I got some in my glove box, I, I believe. Um, but Altoids are a very soft mint. They don't last long. And while the flavor is decent, I don't like the fact that they're so, they just, they dissolve so quickly. It's not my thing. So I've been looking for a replacement, something that is as hard as the Newman Zones, and I have not been able to find it. However, this, the Vermints, these are about a halfway mark between an Altoids and a Newman's Own. So they're much harder and they're flavorful. Um, and these are using uh, real ingredients, uh, real sugar, even though it's, I, I am diabetic, you just one gram inside one of these things. And I have one, I don't know, maybe two possibly in a day. I'm not worried about it. Um, this is the wintergreen, as I said, gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan, totally uh, nut-free. Um, what else? Now, this is kind of interesting. Vermints.com, V-E-R-M-I-N-T-S, and I, I, I do appreciate the, uh, the pun. Mints produced in Canada using ingredients grown in the U.S., packed in the U.S., um, and then distributed by Vermints Incorporated, Weymouth, Massachusetts. <laughs> Certified organic. So, not really a lot to do with Vermont, which is, you know, where the pun comes from. But by gosh and by golly, uh, they are at least packaged in 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 New England, in, in United States, and specifically in New England. And there is a little blurb on the inside. Well, standard case, a little blurb. Um, and it says Vermont wintergreen. Winter is something New Englanders know uh, plenty about. Perhaps a little too much. Not for long. Uh, Vermint um, lets your mouth experience the fresh winter air of the mountains without any muddy aftertaste. Ha, 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 yes. Um, find out more about Vermint's at Vermint's.com. So, well worth my time as far as a mint goes. And until I can find something that's even closer to a Newman's own, um, these are going to be my go-to. The uh, Those who are into tins, this tin is slightly smaller than an Altoids, and the Newman's Owens were slightly larger than an Altoids. Um, I have quite a few of those stored in my closet. I do find them useful on occasion for um, storing things, and I've actually even shipped things inside of a, a, a tin because the object inside was breakable. Um, and put that in a, a, you know, in a bubble wrap envelope and ship it off, and it's, the object's not going to get broken, which is very, very handy. So I like the Vermints. I think they're solid mints. Uh, and if you are looking for something and you also can't find Newman's Own in your area, so you'd like to find something that's as close as possible, I recommend you give it a try uh, of uh, Vermints.